Majin. Hello then, many thanks for tuning in to Y254 News Highlights. It's the fourth day of the month of March, a Monday it is. And tonight discussion Monday, we shall be talking about the cabinet reshuffle that happened on a Friday. And to help me steer this conversation with me in studio is Winnie Obore, governance and activist. And I'm also joined by Eric Owar, a governance expert as well. Many thanks for coming and I'm hoping we will have a lively uh, discussion tonight. Uh, remember, you can be part of our conversation by sharing your comments on our Twitter handles at Y254 channel and at Murani Hillary is the Twitter handle. Hashtag is Y254 updates. We look at the few stories making news highlights tonight. A very good Monday evening to you. My name is Dereva Hillary. Now, the sixth devolution conference kicked off Monday in Kirinyaga County with President Uru Kenyatta's four big, uh, big four agendas uh, sorry, expected to guide discussions at the annual event. The conference, however, comes in the wake of a renewed war on graft with Governor Standing accused of failing to stem the vice in the counties. To matters with whether now the Kenya Meteorological Service says the long rain season has begun, but it is just to pick up. Deputy Director of Meteorological Services Samuel is appealing to farmers to continue preparing their fields in readiness for planting. According to the five days forecast in Nairobi area and counties in the central highlands, including Kirinyaga, Nyandarwa, Laikipia, Nyeri, Muranga, Kiambu, Meru, Embu, and Tharaka will experience low temperatures of 80 degrees Celsius to maximum of 30 degrees Celsius. They say the wages of sin is dead and a Nakuru court has jailed 44-year-old man for life. This is after a court in Nakuru found him guilty of robbing and stealing from m and shops in Nakuru at gunpoint. Haron Durango faced three charges of robbery with violence. land surveyed in order to address the historical injustice committed against the area residents. The move aimed at, at settling the demands of communities in Morang and Kiambu counties where 